We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. That's okay. Thanks, all right. They go play action here on first down. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. Well, this is a catch by Ted Ginn. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Good catch. I need a pick. Throw another one, please. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Thank you. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. The dump off good for that eight there on first down. That Every coach so we ever talk to good. says to his team before the game, on, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here in the game's opening drive. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing the shotgun then they ran out of it that's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game Throw on third and two. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Bree's going to come up here, first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. the 13 yard line six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. From the gun, it's Breeze. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Take it right down the field and score Good. on the opening drive. Oh, Will Lutz on for the point after. Lutz good on the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. Graphics with three where they won't go nowhere, and it's not late. Lutz now to kick this one away. Yeah, he hit him, but then he just froze. I don't mind the block. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it was a good play on your behalf. You had me beat, but my God. Was so crazy. Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Drops it underneath to Elliott. Oh, and now he pulls him over. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That opening drive rhythm continues right into play number three. Whatever they decided that they wanted to run before the game, it's working pretty well for them right now. Moving the ball downfield at a nice rate. And guess what? I think the chain crew might have to get a little oxygen over there. They have to keep moving downfield with first downs on each play. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. To the air again, Prescott. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a kick. And Beasley's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Cole Beasley from four yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. 
point after, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And he almost flirted with disaster there, but it does get into the end zone before going out, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, as the dust settles for the New Orleans Saints on this season, yes, a lot of disappointment for the second year in a row, but, you know, 13-3, and three, number one seed for the first time since 09. Now, they did suffer the first home playoff loss under Breeze and Peyton after six wins, but a lot to be proud of this year for New Orleans. No doubt about it. I mean, that team jumped out right from the word go. Well, let me rephrase that. After a season opening disappointing loss to Tampa Bay, they ran off a heck of a streak and established themselves as the team to beat in the NFC. The only concerns going forward, will they get everyone back healthy? Remember Sheldon Rankins, their exciting defensive tackle got hurt in the playoffs. But the other part is, can they shake off the last two years of losses, get that out of their psyche? That crazy Minneapolis loss to the Vikings, and then the controversial non-call in the playoffs against the Rams this year. If they can put that behind them, they'll be a force again in 2019. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? Ready? Ready? Ready Here's Breeze to throw. Come on, come on, come on. Well, this is caught by Kim. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And now here come the Cowboys. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. Prescott looks to throw on first. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. I can't believe I didn't even go for the ball. I got the whistle. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. So after the INT, it's Breeze. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Trying to pitch it, it just happens in my They start on the ground with Elliott. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Okay. 
No, I just I said it should have been a hole there. No, I wouldn't have hold. They have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. You get them every now. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnover. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. Again to Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And Brady, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, a free safety was there, no gain. Go 47. Go down, go down, go down. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Cooper's got it. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And down right around the 37. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. I knew you knew it was. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First down, Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jeff Swain, 37 yards. And the Cowboys are in for six. And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure, but the tight end's such a weapon, and they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was a prototype of what we're seeing today. We're seeing it each and every week now. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. On second down, Kamara. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now Breeze on third down. And incomplete here on third down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary can really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And out now come the Cowboys. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Prescott now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Prescott from the gun. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. It's the safety, Kirk Coleman, and his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll try to get the offense going with Camaro. And now running right through it. Room to run inside the 40. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Back now in Arlington. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Staying on the ground on first with Camaro. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Escaping the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Don't forget the extra point. Right. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. That'll be taken in the end zone. And now running right through it. Gets by him, and now a little daylight. No Tavon Austin, he's going to go. Give credit where credit is due. How about that return? Great blocking, great vision, all the way down to the two-yard line. The only person who has to be upset, the guy who didn't get it into the end zone. That far and no reward. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 21-14. Well, when you went for you can put when you went for the control on the window. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Play action. Breeze. Gibbs has it complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Back to the ground. This time with Ingram. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. 13. Good, good, good. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Now they'll throw with Breeze. He hits his target. Left side, Watson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Sammy, Sammy! Back to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you talk about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. Back to throw. No, 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 no. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. But he will be stopped behind yeah, the line as he will not come close to the marker. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Throwing here. Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of six there on first. Fired that one in there. Able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes that are going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. As they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. I believe I had a guy wide open. Now you got me with the pressure. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Here's Prescott. The hitter here is complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. There the Saints signal for another timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Prescott to throw. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Yeah, I thought I had it. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this one is right through. 
And that will extend their lead even further. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And a good effort on the return there. Gets them across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Hey, yellow lady. Run, 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 run. Now Breeze. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Brees on the hook up to Thomas for the New Orleans first. To throw is Brees. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. <laughs> this defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more I than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. One final try here for Breeze. Now a desperate and a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win them the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score doesn't affect the outcome but hey nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play could it affect other things sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker yeah or of course in the fantasy football world these well charles they were close in the end but they couldn't get that last play that last little miracle play done they were within striking distance but couldn't find a way to score they definitely had hope they definitely had opportunity just unable to cash in at the end not an easy play by any stretch but they definitely had a chance So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.
Drake.